Well, that's it. 21 pilots are done with the takeover tour. Well, the very first half of it. They finished up all their US states. They have a couple festivals here and there, but they're gonna finish up the takeover tour next year when they go to Mexico City as well as the UK. And as we all know by now, in most cities, excluding Columbus, Ohio, the night one shows were the weirdest set list, like nights two, three, and four in all the shows in Columbus, they all pretty much had the same sales but night one they were it was the weirdest thing it, like it was all the un the hidden gems of 21 pilots and featured a lot of songs off of vessel i jokingly call it the vessel love show because they brought back guns for hands they brought back semi automatic they start with ode to sleep they of course do car radio they do a lot of songs from vessel and we really should have known better because they're telling us they're going to be doing it since live.20pads.com ever since the launch of Scaled in IC. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope we're having a good day today. Hope your day is going well and hope it continues to go well. It's been a little bit. I've been uploading all the footage that I've had from the Columbus show that I went to night three. And yes, I know a lot of you are waiting for the vlog of Columbus, Ohio. Really haven't had a chance to work on it because I just had a gig yesterday and the, this past week has been super stressful and all of November is stressful. It's, it's concert month for the music majors, but with that it's coming, promise you, it, I hope to have it uploaded by tomorrow night so we can start, start talking about theories, but that is besides the point. Let's get right into it. This is why we should have known about the Vessel Love Show way before the tour started. So if you are joining this little party late with this whole scale nice thing and you don't know what live.20pilots.com site is, allow me to explain. So live.20pilots.com is where the live stream experience was held. There was a whole bunch of platforms where you could do several things, like a couple things you can collect to go purchase, some live stream exclusive merchandise, as well as just to get taken to some other pages. And it got updated when Choker got released. It got updated when Highway got released. Got to see some behind the scenes videos for a couple of things and it was super, super cool. They had a little quiz on there, which was eh, but then they did a Q and A, which was so much better. And this whole site is just filled with Easter eggs. I remember talking about this site a while back and this was pointed out and this is currently in the Artopia section of the site so if you go up there and you go to the TV that's the ones this big Artopia right underneath the FPE radio and take a look at the knobs and zoom in and you can see the old 21 pilots logo and we all just kind of saw it acknowledged it and moved on as we did for most things on the site and during the whole thing during this whole thing like the tv the main console it got updated every so often with just some new videos like we got some behind the scenes for choker as i mentioned before but towards the end we got some new videos some rare videos with 21 pilots and these were old concert uh, footage so like you would get car radio it was super cool you get to see a Tyler run up to the balcony for car radio. You can see just Josh going on the drums. There's a clip of them in Guitar Center, a clip from the Mad World video to where Tyler's taping the lyrics on his piano. Uh, then including a performance of Isle of Flightless Birds, but you hear semi-automatic, you hear car radio, you hear songs that they play on the take over tour. They were screaming out loud, hey, we're doing this one. And maybe Isle of Flight Spurs got put in there because they weren't sure if they were going to do it, but it's still from the same era. And there, there was even a performance, a screen in there, but it's barely audible because the camera is mic'd up right next to the drum set. So you only hear Josh and drums and you can barely recognize the song is screen unless you really know the drum part and or like you listen hard to Tyler's ukulele and you hear all the crowd play it. And there's clips for guns for hands on there as well. Drum Island for semi on mag like they're doing for the first night of the take over tours. And Super, super trippy. It's all from the same era. You can even see the uh, Vessel Era logo on Joss's drum set if you go to monitor six on the TV. And then, like, if you think about the live stream experience itself, the whole entire pre show was every single 21 Pilots video, every single tour vlog, starting all the way back 
from regional at best, where a couple of these songs took place, like Guns for Hands, Ode to Sleep, Car Radio, all those were on regional at best. And of course, there are songs that aren't on regional on Vessel, they were on regional at best. But even the regional at best uh, clip from a Ableton is on the TV right next to the big Dematronics TV that shows all of the screens and we also get all the nine bishop buttons at the very bottom of the page and as we know on tour they're doing every single song that involves a bishop like they do polarize at the smaller shows they do goner at the smaller shows they do every single song that features a bishop they've really been telling us the whole entire set list from day one so Super, super interesting stuff there. And that's actually all I got for you guys today. Like like I said, super short video, but it, I'm a little bit stressed out right now. I got a lot of papers to do. It seems like everything's due tomorrow and Tuesday. So really hope you enjoyed this video, but let me know if you already knew this. Let me know down in the comment section below. I plan to do a, a revisiting live of 20 and looking at more Easter eggs. I didn't find one thing. However, before I like, it goes with the theory I have about the live concerts as well. So I want to get the vlog out before I do that and hopefully I can get it out by tomorrow night. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you have a good day. I love you and I miss you all. And it's nice chat with you again. Nice seeing you and nice talk with you. So anyway, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye and good night. But more importantly, have a good day and I'll see you later.